What's up, beautiful people? It's time to get sexy. 2017 18 Ascension Basketball. 12 box. That's a full case break. Number six, eBay style. Let's do it. I didn't see it though, JV, so therefore it didn't happen. You know, I can't I can't play craps because I feel like craps, there's too much counting. And I don't know how to play craps. The only uh, machine I've ever actually played, and it's not much of a machine, it's the roulette table. And that's that's you know that's pretty pretty straightforward. How many cases of ascension do I have? That's a good question. I have this one. I have the one that it's in the store. That's two. And I think I might have a couple more in the closet. But like we we just received the uh, we we received some shipments uh, from Jaspie's Hobbyland in California, which is uh, you know part of the Rip and Wax umbrella. Uh, dude, they sent us a whole bunch of stuff. I have, dude, I have so much stuff to play with. I feel like it's Christmas. I have some Leaf products. I have NT baseball. I got some cool stuff, man. I got Epic baseball. Like, I got some really cool shit. Really, really cool shit. So be on the lookout for that stuff. As I put that stuff away. Oh, dude. I, I fucking love. I fucking love. Uh, Alan Iverson. So when you told me that story, it broke, broke my heart. It broke my heart. Exactly. He well, he could be in a casino, but not like trying to make back his fortune. You know what I'm saying? He should be in there just for the shits and gigs. Like, huh? Look how the rest of these peons. Look at the rest of these peons. All right. Good luck, guys. I got a request for a Kawhi. Let's do it. Guys, let's fill this high tech. I got five spots left. 37 bucks. Fills it. Uh, I'm doing Ascension basketball right now, Corey. Which is pretty nice. On card auto. Yeah, this is for eBay. Uh, I do have an Ascension basketball on the website as well. Waiting to get that breaking too. I like Ascension basketball. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. So what's the best game to play in the casino since we're having this discussion right now? You know, it's officially Rip City After Dark. Someone dropped the hashtag. So what is the best game to play at a casino? Blackjack? Wow. Bodine and Rara and Kyle all agree Blackjack. Damn. How do you play that game? I think that's when, like, there's the dealer. Like, let's say I'm the dealer, and then there's, like, you know, X amount of people. And then the point, the, the name of the game is to get as close to 21 without going over, right? Mind you, I, I don't gamble, so I, I, I don't know how that works. To 125 for the Lakers, Brandon Ingram. There it is, Ziggy. Hashtag Rip City Cards After Dark. Luke Kennard with the die cut for the Pistons. Ziggy, any chance you want to help us fill high tech? How about this? Any chance you guys want to help fill Ascension? And then maybe Ziggy will help us fill high tech? T 
TJ Leaf of the Pacers with the auto to 50. Four out of 50 to be exact. Go ahead and top load this thing. Easy game to learn. I need to learn it. But it, is it like how I said earlier? You know, the, the whole point of the game is to, to get as close to 21 without going over. Right? Is, is that kind of how that works? Who does that reminds me of that uh, Austin Powers movie? Who does number two work for? <laughs> Those movies are so ridiculous. Dwayne Bacon to 75 for the Hornets. Blackjack is best when you work in teams. See, now that's that's experience talking right there. I'm too greedy to do that. Me, James Bodine. Well, clearly I know Blackjack because I just said how it goes. But, uh... Yeah. You know, don't don't underestimate my, uh... My lack of intelligence or knowledge or whatever. Damn, Ziggy. I hope she doesn't know how to use it. You know, I had a buddy in here... Uh, who breaks with us every now and then? He was uh, he was all like, "Yeah, that's probably it, James Bo." You know me, I'm I'm an innocent boy. Uh, anyways, uh, Ziggy, I had a dude in here who I don't want to say did the same thing as you, but he more or less like left his wallet or whatever at his chick's house, and homegirl ended up maxing out everything. And I told him, I was like, yo, if my chick did that, I would clothesline her so fast. JV, just so you know, I'm, I'm soaking up that knowledge. I'm soaking up all this knowledge you guys are dropping right now in the chat. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, dude, happy birthday. Ra -ra. Oh yeah, I have no mercy for that, Nicholas. Come on, you don't play with my paper stacks. Well, Ra, -ra I hope you win big, my man. And share some of those uh share some of the goodness with your boy. What do we have here? The Aaron Fox. Here we go to 75 for the Mavericks. Dennis Smith Jr. That's a good card. That's a good card. Showing up in back-to-back -back cases. Very nice. Dude, I love Dennis Smith Jr. Kid's going to be an absolute stud if he can stay healthy. You know, he I know he had some injuries in college. So that's his main thing. Got to stay healthy. To 75, Tyler Dorsey of the Hawks. He also he was also dinged up in in college. Uh James Bo Paul George, Pacers to 25. Nah, JV, I did not see that. I did not see that. That's a shame, man. That You know what? I was actually thinking that. Like, who's going to take the last shot out there? And it needs to be Andrew Wiggins. And he was kind of doing it earlier in the season. Andrew Wiggins was, you know, kind of starting to take that, that role of... All right, this is my team, kind of, you know? That team, like, they need, they, they're still not quite there, the, uh, the Timberwolves. I feel like... 
I feel like they're two players away. And they're shooters. Two players away. They're two sharp shooters away from being a championship contending team. They got Jeff T at point guard. Uh, who are they playing at shooting guard? I think they're putting Wiggins at shooting guard or maybe Butler. I think Butler at shooting guard. Wiggins at the small forward. Uh, who do they have in the four? They probably have, what's his name? The guy they brought from the Bulls along with Jimmy Butler. Taj Gibson, I think is his name. And then, you know, the Catman at center. They're a young team, though. They're a young team. They, you know, they still got to go through those growing pains. But in a year or two, they're going to be scary. in this box well Ziggy you know I'll tell you what man I, I think I think we've been down this road before where I think you know I I, uh, I let you take a spot for a filler oh uh, and you paid for it the next day I'm down to do that for you again man OG and Unobi are the Raptors to 129 yes uh, James Bow this is an eBay break Trying to get the store break filled as well. Tyler Ulis of the Suns to 75. I think that was you though, Ziggy. I think I looked out for you like last week or something like that. DJ Wilson of the Bucks. And then like the next day you just came through and you straight up paid for it like a boss. I think it was you. I'm pretty sure it was. What else we got? Norman Powell, the auto for the Raptors to 142. This is going to be a regular top loader. Uh, right now, the... Hold on, I see some more teams got taken. Matt Jesse, who is that? Shout outs to Matt Jesse picking up some spots in the store, baby. Always nice to see a new name. Donovan Mitchell, another rookie that's uh, killing it. A lot of good rookies this year, man. Joe Johnson, old school Suns card right there. Dude, a 101 MJ for the White Sox would be. Stupid money. Uh, as far as the teams that are left in the high tech, I believe we're down to Cardinals, Giants, Reds, White Sox. I just checked the website and I see some teams got taken up by my boy Matt Jesse. Thank you very much, man. So Chronicles is down to 14 spots now. As we continue with this ascension. Uh, Devin, the autos, I'll show you real quick, only because I like you. Norman Powell, Dennis Smith Jr., and TJ Leaf for the Pacers.
I know, Devin. I know. I know. Tell me something I don't know. Four spots left in the high tech baseball, guys. Cardinals, Giants, Reds, and the White Sox still available. Real good team still available. We'll see, Evays. We'll see. By the way, I hope I am pronouncing your name correctly. I apologize if I'm not. You know, if, Freak, if uh, Sports Cards Freak was in here, uh, Nicholas, he'd be telling you that uh, Luke Kennard is the next best thing. But he's a Pistons fan, so of course he's going to say that. DeMar DeRozan to 125 for the Raptors. Pronounced as Ives. Gotcha. Did I say it correctly that time? You know, I try to I try to be cultured. You know what I mean? To 299, Josh Hart of the Lakers with the auto. Uh Ziggy. Yeah, no problem. I'll give you the uh, I'll give you the Cardinals. The Cardinals are forty nine dollars, uh Ziggy. Is that cool? You got me tomorrow? You know, I don't I don't do this with everybody. Ives, Ives. Jonathan Isaac to one twenty nine for the magic. All right, Ziggy. My three favorite words in the English language. I got you. I'm going to take that team out right now. Give me a sec. Where is it? It is the top high tech. I got you down for the Cardinal Ziggy. Boom, boom. I gotta put down those other teams or whatever. Eh, not a big deal. We'll do that later. Kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing. Son of a guy. We're down to three spots in high tech, guys. Giants. Reds, White Sox available. Last three teams in high tech. Who won them? Giants, Reds, and the White Sox. Three real good teams still available. And as you all know, filler teams usually, uh, usually hit. High tech is filled. Uh oh. Indeed. Indeed, it is. High tech is full. Appreciate you, Kyle. Now, I know Kanko Main is out there in the world, 
probably, uh, I know he's probably putting his kid to sleep right now. All right, so guys, so I'm going to do that high tech as soon as I'm done with this. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you guys filling that thing. Also got to give away that flawless spot too. We'll do that once we, uh, yeah, Corey, hit that narwhal dog. You never answered my question, man. How you like being a daddy, bro? You got any advice for Jason? Jason's coming up on in the in the, in the daddy world. To one twenty five, Andre Drummond of the Pistons. Dude, I don't, I don't, I man. I, I try to like put myself in his shoes, like how I would feel, and. It's mind-boggling. Like, that's the only words that can... Ooh! Malcolm Brogdon to 75 for the Bucks. That's a good hit right there. Last year's Rookie of the Year. Very nice. Did you, Corey? There you go. Laying the knowledge down on my boy. Dude, I, I am not ready for a child. But at least... you know. And you know what's funny? Everybody that I talk to... They tell me the same thing. You're never going to be ready. To 129, Frank Mason of the Kings. You know, if I have a kid, it really depends, man. If I have a girl, ain't nobody touching my baby girl. Like, I'd be so overprotective of her if she was a girl. If I have a boy, that would be awesome. Super excited for him, man. Like, that baby's right around the corner. It's like two months away. Like, Jay Yonce is almost here. Jay Yonce is almost here. That's like, that's ridiculous to think Jason's about to have a child. Like, what? CDJ, the cardboard Jesus? Is gonna have himself a uh, an immaculate conception. Which actually, now that I'm looking at it, uh, I see some teams gone in Chronicles. The Dodgers are gone in Chronicles, and the Cubs are gone in Chronicles. 12 spots left in Chronicles, y'all. The that tops is full already. So we can do this. Boom boom. Done deal. No, the, the child's name is not CV. The, uh, he was joking around with me a while ago. Dude, Correa should be money for you, uh, Kankle. Kankle Maine. Uh, as far as the child's name, he, he hasn't decided on it yet. I'm sure him and the wife haven't decided on it yet. Uh, but he was joking around with me the other day. Uh, telling me that he was going to name it a combination of Jason and Beyonce. You fuse them together, you get Jayonce. <laughs> and he and you guys know how Jason is. Like he'll tell you a joke with the straightest face ever. And it just makes it that much funnier. He told me that shit, bro. I almost spit in his face laughing. But then you know I saw the little CBJ smirk and I'm like, okay, alright. You're fucking with me. Jayonce would be awesome though. I think I'm gonna make him like a little like I'll come up with like a little gift to give him. Cinderius Thornwell to 129 for the Clippers. Like uh like a onesie or something for the baby. You know, and I'll put I'll etch her name on there. I'll put Jayonce on there. <laughs> the wife probably wouldn't like that. But I know CBJ would love it. Willie Cauley Stein to 75 for the Kings. Listen, you guys know the CBJ smirk. Y'all know the CBJ smirk. 
Lonzo Ball with the New Frontier die cut for the Lakers. In there. Harry Giles to 75 for the Kings. On card auto right there. That's another kid right there that fell in the draft because he uh, suffered an injury in college. But before that, was dominant. Remains to be seen what he'll do in the pros, but he's a good player in, in college for the Dukies. We're halfway through. Sweet. We filled that high tech. Appreciate you guys helping me fill that thing. Finally, getting that out the way. The next break I have closest to filling. I got Chronicles Baseball down to 12 spots left. I have Ascension Basketball on the website with 19 left. I have a Flawless College Football Briefcase hit random down to 6 spots left. Well, you're going to get a card guaranteed. Randomly for one forty nine ninety nine, but you will walk away with something. Uh, I have nine spots left in flawless college basketball. Surprised that's not getting any love, considering what the checklist looks like. Checklist is ridiculous. Dwayne Wade, Shaquille O'Neal, Penny Hardaway. Ridiculous checklist. Well, I already know what the auto is going to be. What do we got? What do we got? It's a 75 Nicholas Batum of the Hornets. There. The auto for the Trailblazers. Caleb Swanigan is the auto. Boom. Let's see what else we got here. Dwayne Wade. God, it hurts me to see Dwayne Wade. 129, Semi Ojaleye of the Celtics. Good for him, though. Go ahead and get that money. That's it for that box. Got five more. Prism Basketball, Devin! And Prism Basketball is going to be hot fire. Telling you right now. I don't say that too, I don't say that often. But Prism Basketball is going to be, uh, as they used to say back in the day, the bees knees. Well, I don't know what it's going to cost yet, uh, Ascension is crap, because I don't have the invoice for it yet. That doesn't come out till Friday. You know, so I don't have the deets as far as the cost and all that stuff. Oh yeah, Prism Basketball will have this year's rookies, for sure. It's going to be two autos per box in that deal. Ziggy says he helped fill high tech, so y'all got to help fill Ascension. This is true. This is true.
James Bodine, that's the uh, the life of a fat boy. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> of course it's going to have Lonzo Ball Ascension. You know, it's going to have uh, autographs for the 2017 NBA Draft Class. Uh, Kevin Durant, Reggie Miller, Kobe Bryant, to name a few. As far as uh, some of the veteran Hall of Famers in Prism. You know, there's the Luck of the Lottery inserts too. Which is a 14 card set with the 2017 lottery picks. Those autos should be gorgeous. It's going to be 12 packs per box, 12 cards per pack. So Prism might be kind of cool to do as far as a... Uh, Maybe do that thing like a pack war style. That'd be kind of cool. Got nothing here. All right, guys. Let's help Phil Ascension in the website. My man Ziggy has a very good point. He helped us fill high tech, so let's help him out. Let's fill that ascension, guys, for the Magic to 75, Aaron Gordon. Dude, I'm telling you, Prism is gorgeous. You know, and, and there's also the uh, the parallels in that stuff. Parallels are, are what make uh, Prism so gorgeous. To 129, Frank Tilakina. You don't have to, James Bodine. You don't have to. It'd be nice. It'd be very nice. And who knows? You might walk away with something you you you, you didn't think you wanted. Right. Oh, that's sweet. For the Lakers, Kyle Kuzma. Couldn't keep the entire auto on the card. You know, the little piece right there running off at the end. But still very nice. Aside from Ben Simmons, probably the rookie of the year, Kyle Kuzma. Very nice. Yeah, it says you, yeah, oh, very, oh, oh, oh James Bodine. Oh, James Bodine. What am I going to do with you? I am your father. Best rookies this year? <clears throat> ben Simmons, Kyle Kuzma, Donovan Mitchell, Dennis Smith Jr. Um, if you're, you know, just off the top of the dome, those kids are just studs. Uh, Jason Tatum also having a really good year out there for the Celtics. De'Aaron Fox is sneaky good out there with the Kings. Uh, Josh Jackson with the Suns, another sleeper. Uh, a lot of people aren't talking about him, but he has potential. Jonathan Isaac for the Magic. Uh, Bam at a value for the Heat. Unfortunately, not getting uh, playing time right now. But I think he's going to be a stud. There's there's a few out there. There's a few out there. Dude, the Aaron Fox is probably the fastest guy in the league. Marking in from, from the Bulls. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't seen that many Bulls games, so I can't really say. But I hear he's nice. Mark Hainan from the Bulls, I hear is nice. I hear Kennard for the Pistons, also pretty good. I would love to see Markel Fultz, but looks like they're red-shirting the, 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 the rookies out there in Philadelphia. <laughs> I bet you're glad you took Dennis instead. Dude, Dennis 
is a monster. I wouldn't call Fultz a bust. I, he hasn't played yet. He hasn't played yet. He's been dealing with that uh, that shoulder injury. But I feel like they're just redshirting him right now. Are you? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay. We'll we'll get to it in a second. To 75, Dwayne Bacon of the Hornets. I would love to see what the Sixers look like with the addition of Fultz. Who in college was a, you know, pretty prolific scorer. Damian Lillard to 75 for the Blazers. What is this? I'm about to say, if that's a Bob Cousy auto, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. You know who's also... Ooh, there it is! Lonzo Ball for the Lakers! Lakers officially killing it! Lonzo Ball and Kyle Kuzma. Back-to-back -back autos. There you go, Lakers. Very nice. <clears throat> That's the second. No, I lied. That's the third case we've had with Lonzo and Kyle Kuzma in the exact same case. That's pretty ridiculous. So for that. <coughs> Come on, guys. Let's fill Ascension Basketball on the website. <coughs> Still showing 19 teams left. All that's left now is to pull a little Jason Tatum action. Really? Is that what his dad is into, James Bodine? <coughs> oh, Michael Jordan? Is that really how that went down? Ow. You know, James Bodine, it's a little it's a little bit hard to breathe right now for your boy. I ain't even gonna lie. <sighs> On account that it's getting hot at her. Is that Oh, I was gonna say, man. Salt air? Well, we are right by the beach, more or less. Malik Monk to 50 for the Hornets. To 125, Jimmy Butler of the Timberwolves. Jonathan Isaac of the Magic with the die cut. Good player out there for the Magic, man. Not getting no love. What's the auto going to be? Ooh, that's another good rookie right there. 
OG Anunobi for the Raptors. It's another player right there that uh, a lot of people don't talk about, but is a, was a stud in college. I think will translate to the pros as well. OG for the Raptors. That's a good hit. Yeah, Jonathan Isaac definitely got that long neck. But that's just because he's flying above the rim, dog. Solid case right now, honestly. Dude, Dennis Smith, Anunobi, Kuzma, Lonzo, Giles, Brogdon. Pretty solid, man. Pretty solid case. There you go, Michael I. What was your hit, the Ananobi? The last auto was OG Ananobi, uh, Devin. Dude, what's the deal with Kawhi Leonard? I feel like he's been injured the entire season. You got it, Devin. No problem. See what's in the second to last box. Really? Damn. You know, and Popovich doesn't strike me like the kind of guy to BS about that kind of stuff. Then again, it wouldn't surprise me. Dario Saric for the Sixers to 75. It's a good card. Josh Jackson of the Suns to 129. The Spurs are playing well without Kawhi, too, which is kind of surprising. There it is. The case hit for the Sixers. The overdrive die cut for Joel Embiid. Pop was ejected. He is a little fiery little, little rascal. I love Pop. I would love to have a beer with him one day. He seems like a really cool dude. Who just so happens to be a fucking genius at basketball. Ricky Rubio, the auto for the Jazz. Nice. To 125. You know, some of the veterans surprise you in this stuff. What up, Dolphin Fanatic? There you go for the Jazz. Gonna hit Ricky Rubio. How's everything with you, bro? That's it for that. Well, listen, I'll tell you right now, everyone on the coaching staff for the Spurs can out-coach probably half the league. Dude, Coach Popovich has forgotten better plays 
than most of the league has in their playbooks right now. Like, that guy is a savant when it comes to, uh, to basketball. You can't believe Eli's being benched? Really, Dolphin Fanatic? The way he's been playing, dude? He's been playing kind of crap. He's been playing kind of crap. To, to his defense, though, all of the Giants have been playing like crap. Right, that's that's what I'm saying, Dolphin Fanatic. The, the entire Giants team is playing like shit. Uh, and I got to say, they got to get rid of that coach, man. They got to get rid of that coach. Maybe try to get back Coughlin back up in there, but... The coach they got right now is a tool. But you know, even when Odell was playing, dude, a lot of people don't say this about Odell. Odell drops a lot of passes, man. I'm sorry. I love Odell, but he drops them when they count. That's not good. Last box mojo. Good luck to you. I'm, dude, I'm telling you, that whole Giants team is just a hot mess. But I feel like they gave up to play, honestly. Like, they just gave up playing. You're out of here, Kyle? To 125, Carmelo Anthony to the Thunder. To 129 for the Pacers, TJ Leaf. Oh, yeah, Geno Smith is no way at all the answer. I thought they would at least put in Davis Webb, feed the feed the rookie to the wolves, and see what happens. <laughs> Buddy Healed. There's the auto for Buddy Healed. One of my favorite players in last year's draft. There you go for the Kings. Buddy Healed. Auto to 87. Pretty funky. Lonzo versus Curry tomorrow. That should be interesting. Davis Webb is going to play next week. He should have been playing this week. But, you know, that makes sense. Give the rookie, you know, an extra week of prep time. What if he starts balling, Dolphin Fanatic? Right? Like, what if he just is insanely good? Lonzo going to outscore Steph Curry tomorrow. Y'all heard it here first. Recap time. Buddy Heald, Kings. Ricky Rubio, Jazz. OG Anunobi, Raptors. Lonzo Ball, Lakers. Kyle Kuzma, Lakers. Caleb Swanigan, Blazers. Harry Giles, Kings. Malcolm Brogdon, Bucks. Josh Hart, Lakers. Norman Powell, Raptors. Dennis Smith Jr., Mavericks. And TJ Lee for the Pacers. The, the Lakers went ahead and had themselves a break. Oh, boy. That was it. 2017-18 Ascension Basketball. 12 box full case break. Number six. eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get that out to you.